Bro, this could be game changing. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know give the video a thumbs up let's destroy eradicate demolish the like button right there push it all right the first news item is huge all right one Big selling point that Xbox has been touting for the Xbox Series S and X is full backwards compatibility. Meaning you buy an Xbox Series X and you play the full catalog of Xbox games all the way back to the OG Xbox. Well, it looks like Sony says, hold my beer. Full PlayStation backwards compatibility. Looks like it's about to happen. According to a new patent, the PlayStation 5, because they already have over like a crazy like 95% of, they're pretty much backwards compatible in PlayStation 4. Almost 94% of the PlayStation 4 games are backwards compatible. But it looks like they're about to add PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 backwards compatibility according to a new patent. This is coming from comicbook.com. Sony is getting ready to surprise PlayStation players by expanding PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility to support PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 games. And the first thing I thought about this is one hurdle Sony doesn't have to worry about that Nintendo sometimes has to do extra development with with backwards compatible game. This controller, same button layout since the PlayStation 1, bro. Since they added the, the thumbsticks to the PlayStation 1 controller, Sony has just slightly iterated on this controller. Nintendo, from the... NES and Super Nintendo is the most similar that controllers have ever been. Nintendo 64, completely different. GameCube, completely different. Wii, completely different. Wii U, completely different. And now back to the Switch, different again. And so when Nintendo does backwards compatibility, they have to take into account their controller layup and do some extra development. Where the PlayStation backwards compatibility, don't even have to worry about that. Check this out. On March 18th, a new patent from Sony was published titled Method and Apparatus for Awarding Trophies. On the surface level, this patent isn't very interesting, but it's about awarding trophies for emulated games. And the only game Sony would be emulating in 2021 would be the legacy games. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1. So check this out. Not only are we getting backwards compatibility, but we are getting trophies for those games. We beat the dead horse, Nintendo. Y'all ain't never getting achievements. Sony has ran away with the game. It's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm joking, but this is dope. The game you see playing though, I'm not a, I'm not big on backwards compatibility. Shout out to the Hobie Lake Show. I know he watching this and I know he's hyped with our backwards compatibility and I'm gonna hear it tonight on the stream. He's one of the sponsors. Hey, become a sponsor, join the dope gaming community. We be gaming, we be chilling, we be hanging out on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship, boy. But one PlayStation 3 game that I missed playing was this game right here, 3D Dot. 
game heroes plays homage to zelda if that's what you call copying is playing homage to zelda but the game always looked amazing bro once this becomes available on my ps5 definitely gonna be playing this with trophies let's go PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale! Oh! With online! I just realized that. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale on the PS3. That's another game. So I think this is going to be a game changer for Sony. One other thing they can say Xbox, y'all don't got that over us anymore. So it's interesting to see, and this is why competition is good. Even though I've been leaning way more towards Sony than Xbox the generation, I still want Xbox to sell consoles and do well because this is what's great about competition. Chess moves, okay, you doing this, we gotta do this. And guess who wins in the end? We do, the fans. We reap the benefits of healthy competition. So this is dope. PlayStation backwards, full compatibility, rumored to be coming to the PlayStation 5, and I cannot wait, bro. The next news item. Get your Joy-Cons, pew! Bro, it looks like we have the first image of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller for the switch pro not the pro controller for the switch we know nintendo has naming problems check this out all new patent well this isn't an all new patent it's an old patent but more steps have been made made uh, made to make this actual an actual patent um again this is coming from comicbook.com a new controller for the heavily rumored switch pro may have just leaked online courtesy of this new patent from nintendo so according to the article it is a new patent and what's new about this is not just the d-pad because that's been a patent before the thumbstick it has a d-pad and a thumbstick so this could be the new joy con for that comes included with the switch pro interesting 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 stuff so it has that the two buttons below interesting to see what those two buttons will be start select capture we don't know but a d-pad could be standard for the switch pro and if you played a 2d platformer which the switch is huge on bro you know how many great indie games are on the switch that work best with a, a d-pad this is going to be right at home and so it, it kills two birds with one stone. You have the D-pad and the thumbstick uh, on the left D-pad. And so a new patent. Ladies and gentlemen, first look at the Switch Pro Joy-Cons. Could this be it? Stay tuned for all the juicy updates, bruh. Bro, new, quick, quick news items and we're going um, to head out. Mario is about to die, bro. That's right. Mario, March 31st is when all of the Mario games, Mario 3D World, no longer will be available on the eShop. Mario 35, that Battle Royale game is going to be gone. The um, Game & Watch Mario handheld thing, that's going to be gone. Nintendo is shutting it all down. And the internet is dubbing it Mario Dies. <laughs> Um, they're dubbing March 31st the day Mario dies. Interesting stuff. It's funny. All right, dude. That's what I wanted to end the, end the video on, bro, because I felt like it. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Giveaways are back. Check out this outro. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's...
there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the slag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.